marriage is a bad idea. <laughs> There's something that happens all the time, and you ladies, well, I'm going to go and talk about it. <laughs> Everybody's all worked up and worried about gays getting married. Everybody's all nervous about the, the, the gays get married. Me, I'm in favor of gays getting married. Clearly. Because why should they be happy? <laughs> <laughs> of course, when you think about it, same-sex marriage might not be so bad if it wasn't for the sex part. For a guy getting married with his best friend, that might be cool. I mean, that's who guy hang out with anyway. Make for kind of a weird wedding. Maybe they could both bring a date. But what could be better than to spend your life with your best friend? But my wife is my best friend. Bullshit! <laughs> Your wife is not your best friend. Hell, your wife isn't even your friend. You can't be honest with your wife. You can't come home and go, honey, 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 honey. There's this new chick at work. This is long legs, long red hair, big boobs, beautiful ass. I see her, I just want to bend her over the desk. You share that information with your wife. She'll be totally unsympathetic. You tell your best friend, and he'll be like, dude, you got any pictures? Besides, you put up with stuff from your wife you would never put up with from your best friend. The guy's best friend ever came up to him and said, you know, you used to make me feel so special. And now you just take me to brand new. I don't think you're committed enough to our relationship. You know, we never talk anymore. Your best friend never said anything that to you. You would kick his ass. You'd kick his ass and he would thank you for it. Dude, I don't know what I was thinking. Well, don't let it happen again. There's a lot of people opposed to gay marriage. They say if you let gays get married, you know, all kinds of things happen. All kinds of different combinations. Like there'd be polygamy. The first time a guy hears about polygamy, you know, having a bunch of wives, sounds pretty cool. It's like having a harem. Polygamy, it's like having a horror house in your house. But it's not. You can leave the horror house. Remember, you don't pay the prostitute for love. You pay the prostitute to leave. <laughs> Here's something that happens a lot. You lazy just ladies don't even know anything about it. You ever been out shopping with your husband or your very significant other, your boyfriend or whatever? And you see an old couple out shopping. I mean a real old couple. And they're tottering down the aisle. He's walking behind his hair in her purse. And I know what all you ladies think. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that romantic? A committed relationship. How long have you two been married? 500 years? Wow, that's great. <laughs> what you don't get to see is when all the ladies are out of earshot, you don't get to hear what happens when the guy, your guy walks up next to the old guy. The old guy turns to him suddenly and goes, Save yourself! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that ever happened to Steve McCann. Oh, 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 too soon. Oh, too cool. Oh. Steve McNair was gunned down by his 20-year-old Gucci mama in the condominium that he paid for. Jeez. You know, I preach it all the time. Men and women shouldn't live together. It's dangerous. It's ungodly. I preach and I preach. Men are like dogs. Women are like cats. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody listens to me. But I'm still trying to help. I invent things. Like recently, I have invented a hypodermic dart gun that shoots hypodermic darts 
full of extra strength mitol. <laughs> mitol for a once a month female badness. <laughs> Tell them about it, Billy Mays. That's right, this is Billy Mays. <laughs> How much to go to comedy school? You quit your job and become a comedian? I suppose you think you're funny. Ah, uh, we're not done talking about this. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be. What was that? Ah, ah. Oh, we're still talking. Ah. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this isn't finished, Mister. But now I think I'm just gonna go take a nap. <laughs> if Steve McNair had one of these babies, he'd still be signing autographs today. <laughs> See me after the show, we'll take applications. Uh, well, I think we've exhausted the marriage of that idea concept. Let's talk about the winner! It's Florida in the summertime. Isn't that wonderful? Being raised in Florida, I have one deep-seated dark fear that somehow I'm going to die and go to hell. And when I get there, it won't just be hot, it'll be humid. <laughs> you know, it's not the hellfire, it's the humidity. <laughs> and I hope you're all getting ready for a hurricane season. Are you? You see, the problem with the hurricane season is nobody takes it seriously. I've lived through a lot of hurricanes. They're bad. But I think the problem is they give them such sissy names. Betsy. Oopsie. Trevor. There were a lot of people killed in New Orleans. And I don't think it was necessary. I think if they'd given the storm a decent name, it would have been better, because we're like, ooh, Katrina's coming. I'm so scared of Katrina. Oh, save me from Katrina. Should have named you Death Stalker. <laughs> you get out of Dodge for Hurricane Death Stalker. Or Hurricane Godzilla. Or Hurricane OJ. But you got to take these storms seriously. Because either a little hurricane will really mess up your life. You've heard all the announcements on the radio. Get plenty of jugs of water, cans of beans. Well, I'll tell you the truth, what you really need. Jugs of vodka. <laughs> cans of beer. Yeah. And for heaven's sake, get yourself a great big bag of weed. <laughs> Electricity could go off for many as three or four weeks. You're going to want to get stoned. As I say unto you, we will get you through times of no electricity. A lot better than electricity will get you through times of no weed. Well, the funniest thing is about all this, Rosebud, I watched your wife, she was a laughing her ass off, so I don't believe nothing she says, okay? Rosebud never told his family he was coming to comedy. So I gave it down, his wife didn't think he was having an affair, I mean, that way. <laughs> exactly, they just found out a couple of days ago. And See that, honey? Your 401k's worth it. He did good. How about Rosebud, right? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah.